You can create, modify and run different reports in SCCM console. It needs specific configuration to be done. Hello everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, Technex Solutions. In this video, we will look at basics of SCCM reporting and then we will look at prerequisites and we will look at um, configuration, what needs to be done to configure reporting services point. And then we will finish it off with testing. If you find my videos informative, do not forget to like and also show your support by subscribing to my channel. So let's get started with our video. So how SCCM reporting works? You have to configure SCCM and SQL Server, which we will have a look in this video. After configuring SQL Server reporting services, it connects to SCCM database to copy any reports to a specific report folder. So once that data is available in the report folder and you can run specific reports on SCCM console. So it connects to SQL Server reporting services to retrieve the report information. And once it has all the information, it displays in the SCCM console. So now let's have a look at uh, what are the prerequisites for this. So the main prerequisite is SQL Server reporting services feature installed on SQL Server. Okay, so in our video series, we had selected install and configure option while installing this feature. And um, if you have not installed this feature, you can now go ahead and install this on your SQL Server. And make sure when you install it, do not pick install and configure, just pick install option. Okay, so to install that, you can use um, the installation media of SQL Server, which you can download from Microsoft Download Center. However, in the latest versions, you might have to download a separate um, installation for reporting services. All right, so before we start, I have logged on to technex-seo1 and in the workspace, you can see that I'm on assets and compliance and I will change it over to monitoring. And in monitoring, you'll see here reporting. So I will extend that and then I will click on reports. So here you do not see anything. However, once we configure reporting services point and then we will see some reports here. But of course, before we do that, we have to configure our SQL Server. So in the start menu, open your start menu and in your uh, Microsoft SQL Server, extend that and you will find reporting services configuration manager or report server configuration manager. Okay, so open that and it will prompt for UAC and say yes to that and it will open a new window. So we will connect to our server. So SQL Server is installed on technex-su1 and report server instance is SSRS. Okay, so if you click on that, you can change the instance, but in our case, there's only one available and I will click on connect. So here you can see the status and you can see that it is started. If you would like to stop it, you can click on stop, but of course we don't want to stop it. And the service account is very important. So if you click on service account, you can see that SCCM is the account which uh, this instance is using. So I'm pretty happy with that and you can change it if you like. So you can put a new account here, put a new password and you can click apply if you make any change. Okay, so the next step is web, web service URL. So click on that and you can see the virtual directory report server underscore SSRS. So at the same time, you will see URLs here. Okay, so if I, you can see that if I remove anything from here, the URLs will be updated as well. So I will remove this part. You can see that now it is updated to report server only. Okay, so once you make this change, you can click on apply and IP address, you can change that as well. If you have multiple IP addresses here and you want to use only one specific IP and you can pick from here, from the list and TCP port is 80, that's a default HTTP. You can configure HTTPS. However, in this video, I'm using only HTTP. So once you make any required change here, click on apply and um, then we will move on to database. Okay, so database is the next one and we will click on database and here we will click on change database. So once we click on that, it will open a new window 
and here we will create a new report server database so click next and database server you can see it is technex su one and authentication type I'm using current user which is uh, the user logged on to the device and it is technex backward slash SCCM I would highly recommend you to test the connection here before you proceed test connection it is succeeded click OK and click on next so the account however I would like to make this clear this account it should have access to your SQL Server database okay the account you will use here so um, let's go ahead and click on uh, next so the database that's a new database it is going to create the name of the database is report server and the database temp so the temp database name is report server temp okay so click on next okay here you can specify credentials which report server will use to connect to report server database okay so I'm sticking with the, my SCCM credentials uh, that's the account which I'm using uh, but you can change the account here you can change to Windows credentials you can put a new account here but I'm to keep to keep things simple for this video I'm sticking with the same account and click next so that's the summary we will click on next and finish so it will take maybe you know 30 seconds or a minute so once you finish uh, you can click on finish and the last bit is we will click on web portal URL and that's the URL so you can actually make it to reports you can see that the URLs here updated as well and once you change that and then you can click on apply okay so this is updated as well so if you go to web service URL and then you click on the URLs available so open that it will open Internet Explorer so here you can see that uh, our report server is working and it shows a reporting services version number here as well so we can minimize that and we are done with reporting services configuration manager you can close this as well okay now so we will move over to our SCCM so in SCCM now we will configure our reporting services point okay so to do that in the workspace we will change over to administration and then up at the top on the left we will change to size configuration extend that and in sites you will see all the available sites in our case we have only one site which is the primary site and we can right click and add site system roles so once we do that it will open a new window and it displays the general information about the site so we will go ahead and click on next so the proxy you can update the proxy if you like and I'm not going to use any proxy and I will proceed to the next step and in the next step it will show system role selection so click on next so these are the available roles which we can install so today we are going to install reporting services point so we will tick that box and we will proceed to the next step in reporting services point here you can see that site database server and database name we can verify that by clicking verify it says successfully verified so the folder name where all the reports will go is config manager underscore tek reporting services instance you can see SSRS that's the only instance available and here the username so we have to provide a, an account which has access to configuration manager database okay so we will set that account and I will use an existing account because we have already used SCCM account if I click on that and it should display SCCM account in one of the options however if the account that you want to add is not available here you can always click on new account and you can you know write a username for example if I want to use administrator account and um, administrator check names okay mention your password and click OK so this is how you can set a different account however I will use SCCM account and I'll change to existing account click OK so that's the account I will use so click on next it will display the summary and on the next window display the progress and once it finishes you will see this and you can close that okay so we can also check the progress of this to do that we can open the logs so go to the system drive and in here go to program files and then Microsoft configuration manager and inside we have all the logs 
So open logs. So the logs that we will look for SRS. We are interested in SRSP setup log and SRSP MSI log. However, we will look into SRSP setup log first. So open that and uh, make sure you use CCM trace, which uh, displays the information nice and tidy for us. And we can see that. So if you scroll down, you can see installation was successful, which means it has installed successfully on our site. However, if there's any error, you will see any error listed here. Let's close that. Okay. So once we do that, uh, we will just uh, close this and we will go to monitoring and then uh, on reporting, we should see some reports. Uh, it can take a while to list all the reports here. So you can see that uh, it's returning list items. It's trying to retrieve the information. However, it, the information might not be available straight away. So you might have to give it some time or you can actually close your SCCM console and reopen your console and it might list some of the reports, maybe not all. So we have to give it a bit of time so that it can uh, generate all the reports and it will retrieve all the reports in SCCM console. So we will go to monitoring and uh, in reporting uh, under reports. Now we can see that there's an uh, option available to extend reports and um, all the reports available by default they will come here. So we will extend that. Now you can see only three reports here. However, I will give it more like five minutes maybe and I will come back to it and then we will see it will list all the available reports here. And also while we're waiting for the reports to be generated and populated and uh, on the link here that we have used before uh, our report server link, if I refresh this, you will see um, all the different folders which are coming up here. Okay, so Here's the configuration manager, the new one, underscore TEK. I will open that and you can see that it has actually generated all these reports. And on the left hand side, we will see a couple of folders. And um, let's just close our SCCM console and reopen the console. And we will go to monitoring and then on reporting and reports. It's loading and we can see a lot of reports now. Okay. So that's all for this video and if you feel like this video is informative for you, give it a thumbs up and also show your support so that I can create more quality content for you uh, by subscribing my channel. Thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.